This is the Marvel Legends series, Marvel Studios, the first 10 years, Ant-Man. Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket 2-pack. I picked up this figure, or this set, from our toys, and it is set number 8 for the uh, Marvel Studios first 10 years series of Marvel Legends figure. And these two figures were featured uh, in the movie Ant-Man. Okay, very nice. So let's get them out of packaging. And here they are outside of packaging. And boy, is it a great, great set. Uh, and in this set, I am just particularly after the yellow jacket figure. This figure, We've already seen it before. Uh, it was released in the first movie's uh, Marvel Legends set of figures, uh, but it it had an inaccurate head sculpt or helmet, and Hasbro rectified it with this new figure. As you can see, this was the old Ant-Man figure. Uh, Hasbro, I, I figured, didn't have much to work with, with the helmet design and all that. This was probably a prototype submitted by Hasbro, and they decided to just go with it. Um, it looks to be the exact same body mold, but with slightly different paint apps. There's more accurate details with this figure, uh, as you can see. Uh, there's more paint on the boot. There's like silver lining on the pants. Uh, there's more detail on the belt and more importantly, they've got the helmet very accurate, right? Very, uh, they've got a correct version of the helmet compared to this, but they've got the hands, they've got the whole body. I think it's the exact same one uh, for torso, arms and legs, but a, a much, much more accurate looking helmet for the Ant-Man suit. And the colors are just about right. The red visor versus the orange and all that. So, uh, well done, Hasbro. In fact, they also included uh, with this set, these, excuse me, they also included these two uh, mini Ant-Man and, and yellow jacket figures, which was included with that inaccurate Ant-Man figure. But the problem is they didn't include Antony. I mean, this this figure is actually poised or posed like riding on, on Antony, and it's a shame they could have made space here, and you know it, it would have been nice to have Antony, and I don't think it would have cost too much to to do so. So, yeah, okay. Um, we'll talk about Yellow Jacket later. So put him away for a while. Now it's the exact same figure. The articulation is going to be the same. So I'm not going to talk about it. I will talk about one thing though. This bicep joint, I broke it, and it's a shame. I was it, it was it was tight. It, it was fused. Maybe the paint didn't dry yet, or it had hard. It melted, and it, it would not budge. And I was twisting it and twisting it and twisting. It. I was trying to budge it. I thought I could just pop it off and then come back. I pop it off and it breaks off. So it's it's super glued on, and I'm a little bit bummed about that. And. I'll probably have to dispose of this set cheap to a buddy and then just get another one yeah, just so I can have one that's actually not broken. Yeah, it, it's been happening lately for a lot of the Marvel figures. Um, my Carnage figure, the latest one, had a fused frozen bicep as well. And the, the, a lot of the, the Hasbro releases now have been having that problem. Well, not a lot, but several of them that I've been getting. Just my luck, have had that problem. The figure does experience some mold degradation. There's a little bit of looseness to it, but this is what you're really buying with this figure. It's the new Ant-Man. It's the accurate helmet that that uh, we got from the first Ant-Man movie. And the Paul Rudd, Scott Lang uh, head sculpt, which is, which is looking pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit oily and all that. Um, I think they almost got it. I don't think they got it completely, but um, I'll show you in a bit. Now here is the latest Ant-Man and the Wasp Ant-Man uh, figure. And this is the one I actually really like more. This is the prototype suit or the work in progress suit that Hank gave Scott. This is a new suit. I think it's a lot, it looks a lot better than this here one. Here is the, the Paul Rudd Scott Lang head that came with that figure from Ant-Man and the Wasp. And 
just looking at these two head sculpts, I think the this one looks more accurate than this one. This one just there's just something about it. Uh, I think that the ridges or the cheekbones are wrong. The eyes are just a little bit too glassy and not deep enough. Um, the hair seems almost correct, uh, but there's just something about this one. He looks, doesn't look like Paul Rudd. He looks like another actor I just can't seem to place. But yeah, a little bit disappointed with this one. The The face painting technology is 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 great like it's the eyes the irises the eyebrows lips are painted wonderfully beautifully but it's just not as accurate as this one so yeah so with that um yeah uh, I, I feel bad because i broke it but at the same time you know i feel great that we get an accurate uh head uh, helmet but not that accurate of a of a Scott Lang head sculpt. I think this one, just like the Thor head sculpt, just needs a little bit more work. Okay, on to Yellow Jacket. Now this one is absolutely great. I mean, fantastic. I wish they, the only problem, the only thing I would nitpick with this figure is I wish they had used um, a deeper kind of black plastic uh, for the, for the suit because it's made of this, it's 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 shiny, but it looks like rubber tires. The plastic they used for it, it, it feels unpainted. It feels unfinished. Um, as you can see, look at that. There's a lot of blemishes. It, it feels like a knockoff, the, the way the plastic feels. And I wish they could have used something like this, a shinier, a deeper set black type of plastic. I know they were trying to go for accuracy, sort of like a jumpsuit, a rubber suit. And yeah, I suppose they were going for that kind of look, so it's fine. Okay, got a nice little head sculpt. There's like a clear plastic coating on top uh, for the visor or for where the eyes should go. I thought it was pretty great. I thought they nailed this one uh, in terms of accuracy of sculpt. Uh, it's just that black color, which I thought just needed a little bit deeper. It comes with a backpack uh, that's a little bit loose. Uh, it comes with some articulate, the pieces do come with some articulation, the antennae. Or receptors ball hinge joints you can remove them if you want to they are removable so is this one a little bit tight but you can remove it this is a ball hinge joint a hinge joint here and a swivel ball hinge joint here for his stingers like that so I thought it was pretty cool just the accuracy of the suit I'm really impressed with this one so he's got a ball joint neck on a hinge it's got ratcheting ab crunch a little bit doesn't move as much ratcheting waist swivel ball hinge shoulders bicep swivel they're not frozen on this one double jointed elbows ball hinge wrists that go in and out i love the sculpt on it open hand and closed fist very nice uh, ball jointed hip Thigh swivel that's a little bit low. It's not here. And I think they were doing that because of the sculpt of the thigh. That's fine. A little bit loose. Double jointed knees. No calf swivel. Ball hinge ankles. With the rocker got a swivel here. Hinge here. And a swivel here. So the whole set is going to get a 9 out of 10 for me. I think it's it's a great set. If you if you love the old, uh, the first Ant-Man movie, this is one set you, you want to pick up. Uh, this is this is one of those that I was very, very happy Hasbro made because that yellow jacket, I'm trying to get all the villains in um, for all the MCU films. And it's a great addition uh, to your collection, to, anybody, to anyone's MCU collection. So there you go, folks. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video review. This has been the Marvel Legends series, the Marvel Studios, the first 10 years from the Ant-Man movie, Ant-Man and Yellow Jacket. Thanks for watching.